you should not smoke, uh, I don't care what, <laughs> and you should not drink uh, uh, any alcoholic beverages uh, during pregnancy. Years ago, I know it used to be a glass of wine, a glass of sherry, it'll be fine. Most data now, now show that, yes, fetal alcohol syndrome is in this severe abuser, but there are some minor uh, uh, problems all throughout, even small users of alcohol. Uh, there can be developmental disorders, decreased IQ, um, facial anomalies, uh, minor ones, but, but um, that, that can be attributed to alcohol use. So the standard uh, American College answer in most of us nowadays is no, not even a glass of wine. The most uh, devastating effect during pregnancy uh, in a mom who is drinking alcohol uh, is what we call the fetal alcohol syndrome, and that's a condition where the baby will have uh, a degree of mental retardation. They never fully develop physically uh, as they should, and, and it's, a, it's an effect that can completely be avoided by uh, avoiding alcohol during pregnancy. Cigarettes have nicotine in it. Uh, nicotine is a vascular constrictor, and, and it, will, it will start to close down blood vessels and over time will cause decreased circulation to the pelvis. And, and that's not what you want going on. Uh, you tend to, smokers tend to have low birth weight babies, uh, poor APGAR scores, poor, poor fetal growth. Um, I know that there's families will come on. My mother smoked so many packs of cigarettes a day, but, but, and I turned out eight pounds. Okay, you know, and again, you can, it's hard to argue those kind of things, but if you look at the large data that's out there, clearly smoking causes low birth weight babies um, and, and poor growth. Uh, these patients typically have problems as children. They tend to have asthma a lot. Even if mom stops smoking during uh, the uh, uh, pregnancy uh, and have stopped before they, they get the baby home, the babies can still have increased uh, uh, problems with asthma, uh, growing up as children, and respiratory disorders. There is a much greater risk that you can have problems with the placenta, which is uh, important for the nutrition for the baby. Uh, there's a greater incidence that the placenta can actually begin separating from its attachment in the uterus, what we call a placental abruption in uh, mothers who smoke. Uh, and, of course, babies tend not to grow uh, to their, uh, their full potential uh, in the uterus and uh, are growth restricted. And so because of these, these factors, we uh, highly recommend that, uh, that patients stop smoking during pregnancy. The babies that are born underweight, uh, of course, have more difficulty with feeding. They're oftentimes uh, sleep patterns are interrupted. There's a host of factors of their future growth that can be affected. And so we obviously want an, I an ideal uh, environment for the baby to thrive in. And if it's been exposed to uh, nicotine during uh, the pregnancy, it's, it's uh, definitely uh, noticeable.